Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I want to show you just an amazing mate that I found and I'm just so excited to share it. So I was playing some puzzles on chess.com and I came across this puzzle. The last move was king to h7 after a check. And your goal is to figure out what is the winning move here. It looks pretty even, right? You might take a glance and say, what is this, a draw? I have a queen and a rook and a pawn against a queen, a rook, and a pawn, and both kings kind of seem like they're just on the side. What is this going to be? Well, if you'd like to take a second and try to figure it out, feel free. It's super, super cool. And I'd encourage you just to pause for a moment if you don't see it yet. Okay, so one thing you might think is, okay, I have some checks here, 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 here. What other checks? Here, here. Oops, my arrows went away. So I have all these checks. Great. Is Are any of these doing anything? Well, clearly some of them are going to lose the game, right? This check is nice, but you just lose. So don't do that. And you might think that queen c2 feels like the natural move. Oops, queen c2. But after this, it just doesn't result in anything because the king can play king g7, and I'm protected here. All right? I can go back and... If you're black, you don't want to go back. Instead, you want to play queen g5 check because you may see the tactic. But let's not go down that road too much. So what is the move here? There's not really any fancy move, you might think. Well, there is. And this is the reason why I'm making this video. It's an amazing, amazing move. In this position, the winning move is queen to g8. And you might go, what in the world is happening here? Because they can take me. And you might say, Frank, I can take this, promote to a queen, and they take me back and I'm losing. What's the point? And I would say to you, that's a good thought. But this rook is the MVP. So you can, okay, I don't get what you're saying. So what do I do? Push the pawn, promote to a queen, and then now it's check. And then if the king moves, I do something like this. Yeah, that sounds good. But... You can't do that because your queen or their queen is attacking your rook. So what do you do? You might. This sounds like a good idea. And now is where it all comes together. Do you see the killer move, the killer sequence, the winning sequence in this position? It's amazing. It's incredible. F8 equals knight. The reason why you promote to a knight is because now it is double check which means the king has to move, right? The queen cannot capture both the knight and the rook in one move. So what does that mean? The king moves to h8. Okay, so now what? Do you see the win? I hope you do. Look what this king just did. They put themselves in the corner, which means this rook on c7 has a nice slow, this is when you slide on the board real slow, a nice slow move, boom h7 rook h7 is checkmate look at that isn't that absolutely amazing you give up your queen you under promote you don't even take the rook and then you mate on the corner of the board just come on you can't get much better than that this is like one of the coolest puzzles i say that all the time because i'm so amazed by the puzzles but queen g8 rook takes you can't really do anything else here because well, you can resign they have to take you promote to a knight not because you want to give a fork or something and get taken. No, you want to do that just so they go to the corner and they have this killer knockout checkmate in one with rook to h7. If you enjoyed that, let me know. I absolutely thought it was amazing. I love these puzzles. They're so much fun. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe. Just remember again, as I say, Half of the income that I earn goes directly to charity, so liking and subscribing, all that stuff helps me out so much. But that's it for now. Thank you so much. Bye.